Investing your first $1,000 can be an exciting and inspiring way to begin building your financial future. While it's true that investing involves some risk, it is also important to note that many successful investors have obtained considerable returns on their investments. Warren Buffett is widely regarded as one of history's greatest successful investors. He made his money by investing in undervalued companies and holding them for the long term. Buffett's net worth is expected to be more than $107.1 billion U.S. dollars in 2023, making him one of the world's wealthiest persons. Peter Lynch is another well-known investor with great success with his investment techniques. Lynch oversaw the Fidelity Magellan Fund from 1977 to 1990, when its assets expanded from $20 million to more than $14 billion. Lynch is well known for his buy-what-you-know strategy, which encourages investors to invest in firms whose products and services they are familiar with and use daily. While you may not become the next Warren Buffett or Peter Lynch overnight, investing your first $1,000 can be a terrific way to expand your financial knowledge and prepare for long-term success. Let's dive into the details. Is $1,000 a good investment amount? Do you want to know if $1,000 is a reasonable investment starting point? Well, obviously, yes. The good news is that you don't need much money to begin investing. Any amount will get you started and help you create decent returns. With inflation already at 6.6% and predicted to rise further, investing is wise because it can create reasonable returns and help you expand your wealth over time. You can also decide how to invest your money. Assume you invest $1,000 in stock in a well-known company like Apple. If you invest the entire $1,000 all at once and the market falls, the value of your investment may fall dramatically. Indeed, investing a huge sum in one go bears a considerable risk. However, on the flip side, you could get massive gains if the market rises. Now consider this. If you invested $100 per month for 10 months, you would have the opportunity to purchase Apple shares at various prices. For example, you could buy shares at $100 one month and $90 the next. By investing regularly, you can profit from market troughs and reduced pricing. When the company performs well and the market recovers, the value of your investment in Apple shares is likely to rise over time. So this regular investment can be fruitful over time. Best Ways to Invest $1,000 You have several options if you want to invest your first $1,000. Let's get into the details of some potential investment ideas you can consider. Number 1. Invest in the Stock Market you may turn that $1,000 into a potential fortune by using the power of the stock market. It's like entering an exciting game where you can win big and meet your financial objectives. Consider investing in exchange-traded funds, or ETFs, that track the most recent and hot trends, such as the Invesco Solar ETF, or TAN, which has gained 200% in the last year due to the rising demand for renewable energy sources. With a $1,000 investment, you may receive a $2,000 return in one year. You might even acquire fractional shares of your favorite firms, such as Apple, Amazon, or Tesla, and experience the thrill of owning a piece of these industry giants. For example, a $1,000 investment in Tesla five years ago, when the stock was selling for about $200 per share, would today be worth around $30,000, representing a remarkable return of investment of 2,900%. You can also take advantage of market volatility in the stock market and make moves that will potentially increase your returns. For example, during a market downturn, you could swoop in and buy stocks at a discount, then sell them for a profit when the market recovers. Don't worry if you're not a fan of hands-on investment. Robo-advisors can handle all of your tasks for you. You may relax as a team of specialists builds and manages a customized portfolio based on your risk tolerance and financial objectives. Who knows? You could be the next stock market sensation if you make the right moves and have a little luck. Number two, stash it in a deposit account with a high APY, annual percentage yield. While stock market investment can be thrilling, it is not for everyone. Consider putting your initial $1,000 in a high yield savings account if you want a more secure approach to building your money. While this is not an investment, it is an excellent method to make interest without incurring any risks. The good news is that numerous possibilities are accessible, particularly from online-only banks and financial institutions with exceptionally competitive interest rates. Some of these high-yield savings accounts provide 4% or higher interest rates. That implies that maintaining money in one of these accounts may earn you 40% or more in annual interest. A Certificate of Deposit, or CD, might be a better option if you're willing to lock your money for a specified time. CDs typically provide greater interest rates than regular savings accounts, but your money is locked up for a set period. 
ranging from several months to many years. Online-only banks provide some of the finest CD rates available, with rates as high as 4.75% or higher. If you put $1,000 into a CD with a 4.75% interest rate for a year, you could make $47.50 in interest. While this may appear negligible, it is an excellent way to make passive income without risks. Number 3. Build up a passive business. You can put your $1,000 towards starting a business that will create money while requiring little ongoing effort. One method to achieve this is to locate a niche that interests you and create a website or a course on a subject that interests you. You may design an online course that generates revenue for years with a small initial commitment of time and resources. Let's assume you're an expert at preparing vegan dishes. You may develop an online course to educate others on making tasty and healthful vegan dishes. With a $1,000 investment, you could buy equipment to film and edit videos, engage a graphic designer to create a logo and branding, and build a website to sell your course. Making microloans through a crowdfunding platform is another possibility for a passive business. You can invest in firms or initiatives in which you believe and earn a profit once the loan is repaid. Finally, real estate investing is another technique to create a passive income stream. While $1,000 may not be sufficient to buy a home outright, you could try investing in a real estate crowdfunding platform or acquiring shares in a real estate investment trust, or REIT. Whatever passive business you choose, remember that success involves hard work and devotion. Number 4. Save for Retirement Investing for retirement is an important long-term objective that can be accomplished by putting your first $1,000 into an IRA, or Individual Retirement Account. Regular and Roth IRAs are the most prevalent options, each with tax advantages. Traditional IRAs let you deduct contributions from your taxable income for the year, and all earnings and capital gains are tax-free until you withdraw them at retirement. In contrast, Roth IRAs are funded with after-tax monies and grow tax-free with the extra benefit of tax-free withdrawals after retirement. Contributions to an IRA can be invested in a variety of assets, including stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs. Annual returns on IRAs can be beneficial with an average return rate of 6% to 7% in a well-diversified IRA investment portfolio throughout your lifetime. For example, if you invested $1,000 annually in an IRA for 30 years at a 6% return rate, you might save more than $70,000 in retirement. This highlights the power of compounding interest and the long-term advantages of starting early. Now that you know how to invest your first $1,000, it's time to take action and start building your wealth. Remember to diversify your portfolio, monitor your investments, and practice patience. Your assets can grow, allowing you to achieve your financial objectives with time and consistency. Before we finish, we'd like to ask you what is your preferred strategy for investing your first $1,000? please let us know in the comments section below. If you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content related to financial freedom. We are always open to suggestions, so please share your views. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your investments.